Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. We've been laboring in the fields and have brought in some fresh produce just right out of the field. Haven't even washed it off yet. And we've been laboring in a field called Psalm 126. And we have some really fresh produce for you today from that particular field. And one in particular, one piece in particular I want to draw your attention to today is found in verse 3. So 126, Psalm 126, verse 3, will be our text today. If you have your Bible, why don't you join me? Look at that with me. The Lord has caused great things to be done with us. We will be like those who rejoice. Now, that's my translation. And again, go back to last time. This was what was said by the heathen, the Gentiles, the goyim. The goyim, the nations, then they will say among the nations. So the nations gather together. They see what has happened to Israel, and they decide that, well, we've got to say something about that. And they say, wow, look at the magnificent thing that the Lord has done with those people. He's done something wonderful. And um, and that's exactly what they, they say, and this is going to happen, of course, in the future But now, notice how Israel draws some strength from this, and they say to themselves, the Lord has caused great things to be done with us. We will be like those who rejoice. So they realize that it's not all a dream, that they will be laughing, they will be joyfully crying, they will hear the Gentiles say this confession, Look at what the Lord has done for them. Great things the Lord has done. And then Israel takes that up for themselves. They they adopt those words. The Lord has caused great things to be done with us. You know, sometimes we get a little bit um, what my elders used to say, uh, we get a little down in the mouth. <laughs> and so, you know, we we don't have anything good to say about us. We don't have anything good to say about anybody else. We're just, as they used to say, down in the mouth. We just need to get over that. Because if we look carefully at all that has happened, well, we will say, look at all the great things that he's done with us and what he will do with us. You see, when we when we're able to stand on the promise and look at our situation, then we can look at the future with hope. Remember Abraham? We talked about Abraham yesterday. Abraham and Sarah, they laughed, or at least Sarah did, when the angels told them they were going to have a child in a year. And they didn't believe it. But, of course, that did happen because Abraham wouldn't give up on the promise. Even though he was so old, there's no possible way he could ever have a child. And there's no possible way that Sarah could ever have a child. And still, they had a child because they believed That's exactly what we need to be able to do. That is a virtue that we should cultivate, and that is believing. Do you believe God? Do you know to believe God, you have to know what God has promised, and to know what God has promised, you have to know what he said, and to know what he has said, you have to read your Bible. You cannot have faith, and you cannot have belief based on that devotion that you keep reading, based on that good Christian novel that you keep reading. Those are fine in their place. But if you want to make advances spiritually in this life, you have to begin by reading the Word. Because only when you read the Word will you have belief. Only when you read the Word will the belief move into faith. Only when you have that faith will you have hope for a future. Because all of that is dependent upon God's promise. And so when Israel says, the Lord has caused great things to be done with us, we will be like those that rejoice. They say it based on the promises of God. He is going to restore Zion. He is going to restore his people. He is going to bring blessing. Look forward to it and begin to rejoice now, even before it happens. I hope you'll join me tomorrow. We'll look at verse 4 tomorrow on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. 
Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.